Quilca is a mountain on the borders of counties Cavan and Fermanagh. Standing at 666 metres tall, it has a distinctive plateau shape, with steep walls climbing up to a long, flat summit area. Our sites were first set on this mountain as part of our High Points project, where Carl and I look to climb the highest point of every county in Ireland. Quilca accounts for two counties, Cavan and Fermanagh. However, over the past few years, the area of Quilca has become famous for a new man-made feature, the stairway to heaven. I think to talk about this high point is to talk about a few different things. Things that Carl and I have been learning over the past several years. When we started walking all of Ireland's National Waymark trails in 2017, we were naive, young trail wanderers, heading off on an adventure that we thought would only take six months. Over 4,000 kilometres and many years later, it's now 2021, we can no longer go blindly. Many of the mountains we will look to climb will have their own unique issues and considerations. Such as Quilca. Quilca is home to a large blanket bog, which admittedly to Irish eyes can look fairly familiar and unremarkable. However, as an environmental habitat, it is an increasingly rare and precious thing. Because of this, Quilca is a special area of conservation, or SAC, and is being lovingly restored. Alongside this, there has been a trail through the blanket bog and up Quilca for quite some time. Several years ago, the issue of human impacts on the bog from this trail were noted. And through a series of events, the large boardwalk that stands there today was built. The intention being that it would help mitigate the human impact. One viral video later, and Quilca has gone from seeing maybe 3,000 people per year to over 100,000 visitors between March and September in 2021. When first built, the top of the boardwalk was open and people would regularly get lost on the mountain due to the heavy clouds that can blow across the plateau at any time. Scars of trails crisscross the summit and litter left along the boardwalk became more and more of an issue. Further work has been done, and a viewing platform now contains visitors at the top of the route, with the hope of mitigating further damage. The tricky thing about the outdoors is that as more people live in urban spaces, easy to access famous outdoor places are a necessary part of the cycle for helping people to experience and then fall in love with many of our different outdoor environments. Once people can experience the magic of the outdoors, they become protectors of it. I think the problem from my experience at Quilca is that it doesn't facilitate that falling in love. It's a gravel road and a short boardwalk through a landscape that is only famous because of the marks we have made on it. People go to see the stairway to heaven, not the mountain it is built on. The battle with Quilca is that it is an increasingly popular place because this white line across the landscape is so visual. If you look at that white line when you're walking, it's certainly interesting. However, as soon as you hold a camera in front of it, it almost becomes mesmerizing this snake of white across the dark bog. When we walked the boardwalk, we didn't want to add to the damage from that side. So we walked to the viewing platform and then turned around and walked back to the car. What many people don't realize is that the photos you see from the top of the boardwalk, looking down at the trail, is that most of that is a gravel road, not a twisting boardwalk. We reached the summit of Quilca a month later when walking a section of the Ulster Way. This trail approaches the peak from the northeast side and was an intense scramble that we can only recommend to very experienced hill walkers. We touched the summit trig point while engulfed in clouds, cold and wet and windswept. 
And as I said at the summit, we've now been up the mountain two ways. I don't know if we found the best way yet. Uh, but yeah. We've gone two ways up. I understand that it is easy for me to say that there are many more beautiful walks out there. I've had the amazing experience of seeing them and being there and experiencing some of the best places this island has. Unfortunately, the way Quilke is now, I find it hard to know if people can fall in love with it the same way. If you are going up the boardwalk, try to avoid peak times, be gentle to the bogland around you, and bring all rubbish home with you, including food waste. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. This video and everything we make is made possible by the amazing people who support us on Patreon. And they allowed me to buy this new mic, um, which is making things sound a lot better. So thank you so much to our patrons. This week, I would like to give a special shout out to Conleth Berry, Pod Fitzgerald, and Thomas Halligan. Um, thank you guys and thank you everybody who supports on Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, you let us help us buy our, our gear to keep us hiking and buy our first uh, microphone to help with these voiceover style videos. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I will see you in our next video.